Welcome back. I'm here at the entrance to GHO Homes' new island community, aptly named Sea Glass here in Vero Beach, Florida. We are minutes away from the stunning Atlantic Ocean and some of the most pristine coastal beaches in the whole country. If you stay with me to the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you some local secrets that make this exact spot so very special. Sea Glass is sure to not disappoint. As one of GHO's mo more luxurious communities in the area, no expense is to be spared here. The list of features standard in their models is expansive. Smart home technology, state-of-the-art engineering, natural gas supply, designer tile roofing, hurricane impact glass windows and doors, paver drives, upgraded lighting, appliance packages, and more. Plus, Sea Glass is a GHO tailor-made community, which means owners get access to additional home design options, including built-in entertainment centers, luxurious finishes, upgrades, and more. I've got a link in the description where you can grab a download of the full list of all of the features that you can expect in a Sea Glass home. If you're looking for more information, I'm also happy to help. The community features 11 stunning GHO floor plans. And I have to tell you that GHO makes some of my favorite homes aesthetically. The exterior is so stylish and the inside always has a lovely, well thought out flow. I really enjoy showing these homes. The Cerulean is an exception. It's a single family, two bedroom, and the Indigo Grande is a, uh, Grande 4 is a four bedroom. Now, also the Seabreeze Grande is the last different floor plan and it's a 3-3, but it is an attached villa style home along the north and northeast perimeter of the community. I'm actually standing in front of it right now. And it offers a more affordable way to get into the community if you don't mind an attached style uh, layout. Square footage is gonna range from 2,200 in the smallest model and just under 2,800 in the largest model. So they're nice, spacious homes. Your bedrooms are gonna be spacious and you're gonna have volume ceilings throughout, which is par for the course with GHO Bella Homes. GHO did a stunning job preserving the trees in this community. Yes, there she goes again talking about the trees, but it's so true. Trees make a community for me. They have given their residents a literal gift of these beautiful native live oak trees with just like ooze old Vero Beach and the natural Florida beauty and mystique. And on top of that, they've woven a really cool wood walking path through the community. So those who enjoy taking advantage of the great Florida weather and that good Florida vitamin D have a great way to enjoy being outdoors in their own community. Sea Glass also comes with deeded beach access and a beach club right off of the Disney Vero Beach Resort. As far as location and accessibility, the community is very close to conveniences like Publix and small eateries within a five minute drive just over the Wabasso Bridge. There's also gonna be a new Publix going in just off of 510, which is where Wabasso Road and US-1 meet in the Devosta community of Harbor Isle, which I'll actually be rolling out a comparable, comprehensive video on that uh, coming soon for you too. It's about 10 minutes from the main area of Sebastian, about 20 minutes from Vero Beach's downtown, and about 15 minutes up the island from Vero Beach's Ocean Drive Shopping and Dining District. So I promised to spill the tea on some of the local favorite things about this exact location of the Sea Glass community. And you know I'm not one to disappoint, so here they are. Just down the road within walking distance is a dirt road called the Jungle Trail. Before I had my kids, I used to jog and bike down this road frequently. If you take it north from Wabasso, it weaves you past Orchid Island, behind Windsor, um, and along the Indian River Lagoon, and through Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge. And it's shaded, so it makes for a really nice recreational activity when the sun is out and uh, not quite so bearable. So if you take it south from Wabasa Road, it will weave you along the Indian River behind some really neat residences. And there's a neat little spot where you can pull off and have like a short, flat hike through the woods. It's called Captain Foster's Hammock Preserve. Funny story here, I actually made my family take me on this exact walk when I was 40 weeks and three days pregnant with my oldest son, Ben. I was literally waddling through the woods with the worst attitude. I was grumpy and grouchy at everybody, but it really makes for a funny story and a sweet memory. Okay, 
So my other favorite thing to do is grab a delicious sandwich or salad from Beach Bites in the convenience store right off of the public Wabasso Beach access. So many people don't even know it's there, but it's so good. It used to actually be Penny Hill Subs, which is a well-known sandwich spot in Vera Beach, and rightfully so, honestly, it's delicious. My favorite sandwich there is the Waste Watcher. I get it as a sandwich or a salad with a cho chocolate chip cookie, of course, and depending on my mood, I may or may not have an iced tea. So that's my meal of choice there. You will not disappoint. Okay. The other thing I love is right over the Wabasso Bridge, the ELC or the Environmental Learning Center campus. The beloved ELC is a nonprofit center that leads educational programs and eco adventures, teaching about the rich biodiversity of our Indian River Lagoon and the importance of its preservation. They host all kinds of family friendly events throughout the year that we personally go to. Not only is it fun and well run, it's beautiful, it's clean, and it's not overly touristy. So, local Floridians like myself can really enjoy it as well. Okay. Lastly, if you love looking at real estate like me, you'll love to take a quick drive up the island past Pelican Island Refuge, and you'll find yourself on a very thin stretch of island called Amber Sand Beach. Here you're going to find uh, oceanfront houses whose properties stretch from the beach to the river, which is very rare here. Some are very estately, some are little beach sacks, but if you look, you're a looky-loo like me, you're going to love the cruise and love looky-looing. It's a lot of fun. So, in all, I'm very excited for the construction of this great community here at Sea Glass. The location is fantastic. It's going to be a stunner. If you want more information about Sea Glass or the surrounding area, if you're looking at moving to Vera Beach and want to understand what are your best options, call me. I'm happy to be a resource for you. And if you're wanting to stop in and tour the community, please let me know. If you are ultimately interested in having your real estate agent involved to help safeguard you through the process, it is imperative that you pull me in before you visit versus after because I'll be perfectly transparent with you. If you visit and register without me or without any professional representation, the builder and really all builders work this way, they will not let us get involved after the fact. We actually just had this happen with a lovely couple who reached out to my partner, Priscilla. They were looking for some assistance and representation through their purchase after the fact, after they had gone under contract with a new construction builder and they ended up having to come out of pocket to cover the commission for her services. The builder did not want to come out of pocket after the fact and incorporate that into their expenses. We want the seller to pay for this, so we have to honor their rules and pre-register together so that everybody wins. And I say this because it's silly to assume that the general public understands this nuance. So I just wanted to make sure that that was very clear in case you are considering the next step. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Again, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I provide weekly videos with insight into what's going on in Vero Beach, Florida and the surrounding areas. See you next week.